Toilets need routine servicing.
I hear famed actor Roderick Cushion is staying at a certain hotel in Grockle Bay this week, fresh off his latest blockbuster, Perilous Spandex 5. I was a big fan of the previous four, so this song is dedicated to him.
please go to marketing. At Cheesy Gubbins, our scientists take the finest gubbins and combine them with our secret generations-old cheese recipe to make those perfectly cheesy gubbins. This is Two Point Radio.
training course completed. Some breaking news now. A meteorite has been spotted streaming through the sky and headed right for Two Point County. Just kidding. It's actually headed to the county right next to ours. So we should all be nice and safe.
subscribing for the Fracture Ward. Marjorie Dill Pickle sends us today's nice words of the day, which are, if you are confident, everything else will follow. That's right, Marjorie, including old age and death. I'm confident of that. Doctor requires 
required in GP's office. to Nigel Bickleworth on Two Point Radio. Telly ho breaker, breaker, come in, and so forth. It is I, Sir Nigel Bickleworth. And no, I'm not actually calling in from the past. Today is our yearly check of the station's old broadcasting equipment, in case our newer, supposedly superior equipment should fail us. For a bit of fun, I'll be bringing you a show befitting of this classic dust-kissed apparatus.
Someone important is arriving.
The show is only just beginning, and already I can tell that this venerable broadcasting system is adding a certain, I'm not sure how, to my show. How lucky you all are to be hearing me like this. It sound like a beloved pair of domestic slip shoes just feels right. Does it not? I think it does. I see Jumbo McNally, CEO of the all-powerful Jumbo Corp, has donated some of his free time to visit rival hospitals. How generous of this business titan to offer his advice to our ailing institutions. Training course completed.
Collect, trade, and snack with Morsel Man. Awesome. Who will you find? Little Susie Salt. <laughs> Bacon Dad. Whoa the Reverend Cheddar. Can I get an amen? Amen. Morsel Man. A handful of flavor. A mouthful of fun. More Two Point. More often. This is Two Point Radio.
go to marketing. My favorite films is on at the flickering sprocket picture theater at the moment. The classic Bert Roy and the Anvil will be shown across the weekend. It's well worth your time, and I should note that it was the first Two Point County production to use a real anvil. Before then, it was standard practice to dress up an actor as the anvil, but you could always tell. This is Nigel Bickleworth on Two Point Radio. Welcome back, and now the stocks. Blue chippers are up at 45, while the greens have fallen to 87 overnight. The TPBs are coming in at 2030, 88380, and 4. Ornamental pigeons have flown up in daily trading, but are still down from last month. While I'm hearing, yes, yes, they've run out of orange juice. Bye. 
I've just had a sham sandwich for my lunch. Yes, remember sham? The ham substitute was, at a certain point in our county's history, a beloved and affordable high in iron alternative. I remember it somewhat fondly, but I must confess, it is truly rather dreadful. All the same, it's the perfect foodstuff to accompany today's test. And I did buy a great some of it three years ago, which needs getting through.
At Two Point Bank, we know that when it comes to your money, you want to be comforted. Roaring fires, tasty sandwiches, the time Derek told you that joke. Two Point Bank, it just feels right, doesn't it? Serving Two Point County, this is Two Point Radio. I have reports that aliens have arrived in Two Point County. No word as of yet as to their intentions, but I believe it is safe to say that the aliens almost certainly want to change our way of life forever. <laughs> oh, one could only imagine the panic induced by such a false alarm of this kind all those years ago. And to think that it happens so often, well, oh, the mind boggles.
his office. that you've enjoyed today's show even more than usual. I know I have, but it really does take an exceptionally long time to set up the equipment. It has pulleys, counterweights, everything seems to be made of lead, and there's some form of joist system. Still, all in all, time well spent, I think.
listening to Ricky Hawthorne on Two Point Radio. You're listening to the Ricky Hawthorne Show on Two Point Radio, where the art of prattling on and on and never really saying anything is being realized to its full potential. just received some baking news. The muffin shop on Tuppence Road is having a half price sale on all week old muffins. More on this story as we get it.
Don't put your health in the hands of a quack. Come to Bungle Meditech, where advanced techniques and experimental treatments could make you live forever. Bungle Meditech. Other hospitals offer leeches. Ours will leave you speechless. 24 hours a day. This is Two, two, two Point Radio. May we request that all our patients kindly get out.
The Orb Foundation is in a bit of hot water today thanks to their controversial new recruitment drive. But according to the Foundation, knocking people out, dragging them to secret facilities and brainwashing them is a time-honored tradition that should be respected. Just goes to show, there's two sides to every story. Nurse, please go to the pharmacy. In today's edition of Get Fit with Rick, I'll be giving you some pointers on exercising out and about this wonderful county of ours. First off, if you enjoy jogging, I'd steer clear of Smogly. Last time I went running there, I got a stone in my shoe. Training course complete. Class dismissed.
If you're a bit of a health nut like me, you'll have heard of the 10,000 steps a day goal. What a load of rubbish. What you want is 9,999 steps a day. A little thing I like to call psychology.
You've heard of hospital staff being snored under? Well, after reports of an avalanche up in the Pointy Mountains, the patients, the beds, and the building itself could be under snow too. So, if you have a spare shovel, why not try to dig them out? Tired of thinking for yourself? Hmm. Wish you could donate all your money. Aha! Join the Orb Foundation today. The Orb is the perfect shape and the perfect solution. More Two Point. More often. This is Two Point Radio. Training course complete. Class dismissed.
monitor to repair Jump Master. For all you cyclists out there, my advice is get off your bike. We all know it's not really exercise, don't we? Unless you're planning to cycle up the pointy mountains, then you have my respect. We close with this nice words of the day quote from local philosophy professor Herbert Thimble. Believe in yourself and wonderful things can happen, but believe in other things too, otherwise you're just a solipsist. We'll take your word for it, professor. Players are reminded to stay hydrated.
Harrison Wolf on Two Point Radio. You're tuned into the Harrison Wolf Power Hour on Two Point Radio. I'm Harrison Wolf. Oh, that was a funny sound. Looks like we've started with a bang. <laughs> I'll go see what's going on while you settle in with some previously scheduled sounds. So, that sound was the doorknob falling off the door to my booth. The door is now just small wall. Our handywoman tried to tell me what's going on, but unfortunately she didn't realize that the booth is a little soundproofed. I'll try my contact to see what the plan is. Here are some musical things. Thank you. 
New to the Cheesy Gubbins family. That's too cheesy flavor. Who needs new ideas when you can have more cheese? More cheese? Cheesy Gubbins presents That's Too Cheesy. Ch -ch 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 -cheesy Gubbins. Dare you? 24 hours a day. <laughs> this is two, two, two Point Radio. Life's pretty funny. One moment you're talking to dozens of people through strange and wondrous technology, the next you're locked in a booth. You're saying that I'm in here indefinitely, but I don't know. It seems pretty definite to me.
listening to Harrison Wolf on Two Point Radio. You're back, and you join me in what appears to be my new home. Harrison Wolf, trapped at his post. I'm sure all the fat cats have been waiting for this day, but the movement will not be stopped by a lack of movement. Here are some real jolly tunes. I've just enjoyed a nice slice of cheese, wrapped in plastic. It's about all they can slide into the door. I've better get used to a primarily flat diet. Get in touch and let me know what food you'd like to be trapped with.
We all have our differences, don't we? Morning people, night owls, noon bandits. We come in all manner of wonderful flavors. But gubbins, gubbins come in just one. Cheesy gubbins. There are some things that we can all agree on. More Two Point, more often. This is Two Point Radio. Esmeralda LeBlanc writes in to say that she'd want to be trapped with a couple of pizzas. She'd say that she'd cut them into 12 and, by having a slice each hour, use them as a kind of tomatoey sundial. Savvy use of the savory, Ms. LeBlanc. Savvy use indeed.
advancement, automated snack machines need restocking manually. I wish I could tell you there was an end to this story, so this show would conclude and I'd walk out that door a free man. But I can't tell you that, my friends. But don't worry about this, Wolf. I'll get out of here at some point. Probably. I'm going to have another slice of cheese. Until next time.
Cheer up, dear listeners. Ricky Hawthorne is back with more great music on Two Point Radio. So don't go anywhere.
You won't believe what happened this morning. The water pipes in my kitchen burst, flooding the house and causing a cave-in in the living room. But that's what you get for living in a hard water area, I suppose. We'll be back right after this. Maintenance announcement. Bins will become full. Hungry.
A charming little story in the news today. Little Kathy Crumple reported her cat missing a week ago. But I'm happy to say, Mr. Whiskers has been found safe and sound in the Sweaty Palms Casino. Apparently, he made enough playing the slots to buy himself a half-ton bag of catnip. Marvelous!
Requests have been poured again for us to play Jasmine Odyssey's latest single, The Toes of Love. Unfortunately, we don't have the rights to that one, so how about some background music instead? who say that the CEO of Bungle Technologies, the charmingly quirky Sophie Nova, is one conductive track short of a fully functioning circuit board. I have no idea what that means, but I do know a good tune from a bag of onions. Have a guess which one this is. Thank you. 
Jumbo McNally, the greatest business leader in the world, will be presenting Jumbo's latest slate of minor upgrades at this week's Jumbo Expo. Buy your tickets now and don't forget to bring your credit cards. This is Two Point Radio.
needed. I've received a letter from Graham Cornishon, who is currently laid up in hospital down in Flemington. Graham is a big fan of Jasmine Odyssey and would like to hear her latest single. Well, we don't have that one, but I can play this song by a completely unrelated artist. Hope you like it. Someone by the name of Jimbo Company has suggested this hopeful quote. If the world gets too much, take a deep breath and go shopping. Jimbo goes on to say that all Jumbo products are 20% off this weekend. Good to know, Jimbo. Jimbo. 